A former porn star, skimpy clothing, and grinding on the dance floor. And all of this was at a club marketed to high school kids. After a parent complained to us, we went undercover. Our I-Team investigation now from Coin Local 6 reporter Carla Castagna, who joins us here in the studio. Carla? Well, Jeff and Kelly, these dances are being pushed all over social media, and promoters don't hide the fact that kids as young as 14 are allowed inside. When we went undercover, that's just who we found, along with racy behavior and attendees offering access to synthetic drugs. dark and with the music blaring, it didn't take long for our undercover cameras to see everything from racy touching to grinding on the dance floor and on couches. These aren't the high school dances most parents think of. A 15-year-old says she didn't anticipate it either. I just expected to have fun and like dancing, but there was more than that. Everyone is like all over each other. She told us at another dance put on by Moonlight Events in Marion County, she was even offered drugs by other team guests. They just walk up to you and they're like, hey, you want this? And I'm like, no, I'm good. Concerned parents first tipped off Coin Local 6 to the social media page. In Michael Murrow's case, he looked up the dance online after his daughter sounded an alarm. He was furious to see photos of girls in bras, panties, and lingerie shot by an event photographer and posted on Moonlight Events' Facebook page. I'm blown away by these pictures. There, there's no doubt in my mind that this is some kind of child pornography. These girls are nearly completely undressed. When you look at it, you'd wonder if you were looking at some kind of exotic dance club or strip club. It's that bad. After parents like Moro alerted Coin Local 6, we looked into the promoter's next event, a Halloween bash headlined by a former porn star now on reality TV. The flyer clearly states the event is for anyone high school and up. With an undercover camera, we bought tickets and went inside. All the kids we met told us they were only 14, 15, and 16 years old, mostly from the Salem and Portland areas. We're blurring these images to protect the minors, but you can clearly see racy behavior. A boy grabs his dance partner's breasts. Later, we saw two girls making out on the ground. As we start to approach, one crawls off on her hands and knees. Then the girls, both barefoot in a backbend position, start dancing on their hands and feet. People show up and their parents drop them off and they're in their clothes and then... They take them off. Pretty much all of it. She says the teens were unchaperoned. During the four hours we were at the club, we found no visible security or supervision inside. Could you see a lot of people that seemed like they were on like Molly and stuff? Oh, yeah. Molly is what teens call ecstasy, and on our visit, it wasn't hard to find someone offering it to me. After talking to this girl for a few minutes, I say, I just moved here. Do you know where I can get a Molly? She says, Yeah, I'll go get one from my friend right now. To avoid any illegal activity, I then say, oh no, you know what, it's cool, but thank you. The exchange appears to be strong proof that parents' fears are legitimate. When you hear that they're going to a high school dance, you assume that this is going to be some kind of chaperoned event and that she's not going to be in there, you know, with a whole bunch of kids that are half naked, drugs being sold. You expect them to be safe. We asked the Moonlight Events owner, who goes by Dave Luna, to do an interview with us. He would only agree to a phone conversation and didn't want it recorded. Luna says security at the door checks for drugs and weapons and that anyone caught selling drugs gets kicked out. He also says safety is a top priority. Still after what this dad has seen, it's not enough. If you expect the, the proprietor of the business to have some kind of moral fiber or some kind of uh, rule set that they watch over this and keep these kids safe. And earlier this week, we informed the Marion County Sheriff's Office of our investigation. They didn't want to comment until after they could see our report tonight. But Jeff and Kelly, this is likely just the beginning of our report. And you didn't see any chaperones, anyone watching over the kids inside? Not inside at all. No adults. And is this an, an isolated event, or are things like this popular with kids? How many of these are there? There are several of these different clubs throughout the Portland metro area. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely something that parents need to be aware of as 
because their kids are going out to these different clubs. And advertised all over social media. That's how the kids know that one's going on. Yes, but something that parents should be aware of is mm -hmm. as they're looking out at these social media websites, there were definitely some red flags that you could probably see when you're checking out these social media websites. Those pictures were definitely posted on Facebook and on MySpace. And they're definitely right. racy pictures. Yeah. Definitely very racy. All right. <laughs> All right. Great Keep report. Keep us up to date on this and some follow-ups, Carla, will you? Okay. Most definitely. Good, Good investigation.